Hey folks. Um, so this is going to just be a quick rundown of kind of the difference to me as an actual practical user of these two things between VVV and um, MAMP. Um, I mostly do, you know, demos and um, other development um, of small plugins and stuff on uh, MAMP Pro install on my Mac. Um, MAMP obviously stands for, maybe not obviously, MAMP stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Um, so I'm just going to start both of these things up. I'm using this tool called Vagrant. Um, I forget what it's actually called. Uh, Vagrant Manager uh, to get this little nice app in my Mac. It basically scans your system for Vagrant machines and then lets you turn them up and down right there. Um, so this this is the launcher. Basically, it's running commands in the window for you. It actually shows you what command it's running. And simultaneously to that, I'm gonna launch MAMP Pro. Basically, until this window goes away, this hasn't fully launched, whereas MAMP is now currently running. So if I go and reload, uh, the MAMP thing is up. And if I try to launch the VVV thing, it'll now work. Although the site, I don't think works because the database is still coming online. So a little bit slower to boot up VVV. This is a pretty new Mac iMac that I'm running. I think it's uh, 2015. So this is not like a MacBook Air or a constrained older PC laptop or anything like that. This is a pretty powerful machine and VVV was noticeably slower to start up. More so than that, there's also a, a significantly higher memory load when you're running VVV. Um, than you would have on MAMP. Um, I find that MAMP has a much more Mac-like GUI-based interface, which I think is really convenient um, for people who are new to this stuff. Um, or people who just sometimes like a GUI. I certainly would put myself in that second category. I understand the CLI pretty well. I'm reasonably comfortable at it. And yet I still kind of like that I can go in here to toggle settings rather than having to dig through config files. You know, this is this interface is starting to approach a config file, but even that is significantly better. Um, another thing to call out about MAMP Pro in specific is that it now does a lot more things than just that Mac, Apache, MySQL, PHP. I think the newest version that this has an updated to actually included memcached. Um, which is one of the features that you might use VVV for. Uh, they also have the option of using Nginx instead of Apache. Uh, you can run Ruby or whatever on your environment um, in it. So that's kind of a thing to keep in mind, um, is that uh, MAMP specifically, and WAMP does this to a certain extent if you're on Windows, um, gives you this nice GUI interface that no other tool is really gonna give you. Um, it's on my local file system. I've specifically set up MAMP um, I'm not quite remembering where the setting is, but I've made my document root, oh, right here. My document root is actually in my Dropbox folder. Um, so right inside, I've got this web dev directory, which we're seeing, and all of these folders can be served via my MAMP just by going to localhost slash simple dev. That's kind of how that works. VVV is set up, um, I've put that in that same folder, and then it's got this WordPress default, and I'm seeing the WordPress install that I get, this local.wordpress.dev from it. That's this guy right here, and I could put plugins into this uh, location in my file system, and they're basically immediately synced into the virtual machine. Which again, gets back to that point of, because Vagrant is a virtual machine, this is actually running a LAMP stack, a Linux Apache MySQL PHP. It's actually running Nginx, I believe. So it's a LEMP stack is the thing people say. They put an E in for the N in Nginx because that way there's a vowel somewhere in the word. Um, but basically, I'm getting a full Linux box here, but it takes a little longer to start up and it's a little more memory and resource intensive. Um, but this file sync is basically instantaneous, so there's not really a difference there, it's just a different question of location. Another big thing to call out about VVV is once you've got it set up, it's slightly easier to get WPCLI running um, and using WPCLI there than it is on MAMP. In MAMP, what you have to do is you have to alias your PHP and your MySQL from the command line into the same one that is running inside your MAMP install. It's a little strange, it's a little uh, convoluted. Whereas if I've got a VVV uh, window open, 
and I am just, I'm not sure quite where I am. Uh, but if you CD into a VVV directory, and then you just type uh, vagrant SSH, this is the easiest and most common way, you immediately SSH onto your server, and if I just type WP right here, I'm all set. Um, so that's really a benefit if you're interested in WPCLI or something like that. It's a little easier to actually fool around with that on something like VVV, which is that totally virtualized Linux server for you, whereas in MAMP, uh, you have to do some configuration because MAMP is kind of running atop your existing system and hasn't been configured specifically for that. So I find that VVV is much more powerful for power user types. Um, something like MAMP or I would throw desktop server or local from server press. Local is the most interesting case and it's covered more in the article, but you should definitely look into that if you're getting, if you're new to this. Um, but those are a little easier to use. They give you a nice GUI type interface. If you're comfortable with the command line and your system is reasonably powerful, I really do think VVV is a really amazing tool because it's got all these WordPress power user developer features where you're already, you've got the source code of WordPress and the builds built in. Uh, if we go back to that VVV start page, we see we've got trunk running and we've also got this build environment that WordPress itself uses all set up. Um, and I think there might even be on VVV by default, I could be wrong about this, like WordPress.org kind of stuff set up. Uh, when I try to access it on this install, I'm having some issues because um, it's like at wpmeta.dev. And something about the way uh, Nginx is running for me right now means that certain sites aren't accessible in this setup, even though they're add to the host file. I might just be misunderstanding. Um, because VVV has put those in my host file, but maybe it doesn't configure them out of the box. Whatever it is, there is a lot more finicky configuration in my mind to VVV, but it gives you a lot more power and you're basically um, gonna have access to sort of all the tools that you might need to do any level of WordPress development from building your own plugin or theme to actually working on core itself, which is not gonna come stock in something like MAMP.